Where are you? Here. Hello everyone and welcome back to another SPM 2021 AdMeds Paper 1 uh, question discussion. Okay, now we are in the question 6. So let me read the question now. Diagram 3 shows a trapezium FECA. Sector ABHG is a quadrant of a circle with center A and AHD is an arc of a circle with center B. So as you can see here, is a trapezium FECA. Okay, and then within the trapezium FECA, you have a sector ABHG. Okay, so this is the sector ABHG. As you can look over here, it's literally forming a quadrant uh, of a circle with respect to the center A. Okay, and then AHD is also forming uh, an arc. Okay, AHD. Okay, so you can imagine AHD is like forming an arc of circle with respect to the center B. Okay, so continue to read the question. It is given that G is the midpoint of AF. Okay, uh, some information that we can use it. So G is actually a midpoint to the straight line AF. Okay, continue to read. So BC is equals to CE, which is also equals to uh, 8 centimeter. So BC and CE, technically they are the same length, which is equals to 8 centimeter. And CD is equals to 3 times of the length DE. So this is another information which can be related to the line segment. Okay, so which in this case CD is equals to 3 times of the length DE. Okay. Continue to read the question part A. Find angle CBD in radians correct to 4 decimal places. Okay. But before that, the question. Okay, let me remind here. They ask us to use the pi value equals to 3.142. Okay, usually they will ask us to use either 22 over 7 or 3.142. But since in this question, they already emphasize you to, to use 3.142. You just follow the value of 3.142 okay this is the value of pi that we are going to use throughout this question okay for the question part b hence calculate the perimeter in centimeter of the shaded region okay perimeter means the total length of the the external region okay in this case have g g h h d d e n e f all the surrounding uh, length the sum of the total surrounding length of the shaded region okay that is the one you're going to find for the question part b okay so let us start our discussion start with the question part a followed by the question part b let us begin for the question part a now okay for the students if you don't know how to start your discussion so my advice to you try to gather as much information from the question itself okay so let me take this information from here so it is given that uh, bc is equals to ce is equals to 8 centimeter okay in this case they ask us to find the angle cbd right okay cbd is over here so if you can't see it clearly so let me uh, sketch a line so as you can see over here so this is the angle forming cbd okay so this is the angle which i emphasize in uh, symbol theta over here angle cbd so this is the one you're going to find okay so bc we know that we know that it is uh, 8 centimeter ce we know that is 8 centimeter but how are we going to find the angle okay step number one we need to find the uh, straight line the value of uh, dc first okay we know the value of bc Okay, but then we need to know at least one length, which in this case, the length of DC. So if we have two lengths, we can use the uh, trigonometry concept, which in this case, we can apply the tangent concept and then we can straight away find the angle. In this case, angle CBD. And once you get the angle in degree form, we can convert it into radian form by timesing with pi over 180 degree. In this case, your pi value is 3.142. And that is the overall idea on how we're going to solve the question for the part A. Okay. Still not clear? Don't worry. I'm going to guide you one by one. So just follow with my working guys. Okay. So given that. So given that. CD is equals to three times of the length DE. 
Okay, so technically CD and DE, we can form a ratio. So how are we going to form a ratio? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break this equation into a fraction form, which in this case CD, okay, and then you divide with DE, which in this case, I'm going to divide the DE over here, okay, and then divide the DE. So divide DE in the both sides, so you're only left with 3 over 1. Okay, CD over DE is equal to 3 over 1. So, technically, you're forming a ratio, which in this case, we can convert the fraction into a ratio form, which means CD is to DE is equal to 3 is to 1. So, CD, the ratio of CD is 3, the ratio of DE is 1. So, the summation of the ratio, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, now we're going to find the length of DC. So how to find the length of DC? So technically length of DC is actually equals to 3 over 3 plus 1. Why 3 plus 1 is the summation of the whole length. So in this case 3 over 4 of the length of uh, CE. Okay, CE is literally the whole length. DC is the one you're going to find. So 3 is representing the ratio. So since we are going to find the length of DC, so DC is equal to 3 over 4 of the length CE. So how we get this 4? 4 is literally the summation of the ratio 1 plus 3. Okay, 1 is representing the ratio DE, 3 is representing the ratio CD. So you sum them all, which is representing the whole length of CE itself. Since we are finding DC, so it is 3 over 4. If we want to find ED, is 1 over 4. So it is understood guys. So summation of these two ratio, it is representing the whole length which is CE itself. Okay. So to find the DC is equals to 3 over 4. Length of CE is already given is 8 centimeter. So it times with 8. So DC is equals to 3 over 4 times with 8. So from here you get your length of DC is equals to 6 centimeter okay so let me underline the solution okay solution for the step one guys okay step one we already get the line dc okay like i've mentioned in the dis early discussion okay step one we need to get dc okay once we get the bc and the dc those two length we can use them to find the uh, angle by applying the trigonometric rule Okay, so from here, so given BC is equal to 8 centimeter, so BC is also equal to 8 centimeter. So let me write it down in the working here. So given BC is equal to 8 centimeter, okay, angle CBD. So how are you going to find this? Okay, let me do this step by step, guys, if you don't get it. So tangent angle CBD is equals to opposite over adjacent okay that is the rule guys okay so length of BC is 8 length of CD is 6 so opposite over adjacent is 6 over 8 so tangent angle CBD is equals to 6 over 8 so angle CBD will be equal to tangent inverse 6 over 8 so the tangent you move it over to the uh, right hand side so it will become tangent inverse 6 over 8 so from here you get your angle CBD is equal to okay let us calculate this okay Wait a guys. Okay, but since we are going to later on, since we are going to convert into radian, so let me do this step by step. So shift tangent six wait six over eight. Close bracket. 
So you get your answer is 36.86989765. So you're going to take up to two decimal place. So which in this case 36.87 degree. So 36.87 degree. Okay, if you leave your answer in this way, your answer is actually wrong. Okay, because the question requires us in radian form radian form and then you need to mention in four decimal places so for that so the angle convert to radian will be times with pi over 180 so in this case your pi is 3.142 over 180 degree since we are literally convert to radian right so you need to show the working of course in the calculator you can just straight away convert but then in the examination you need to show the working guys then only you can able to get the marks so from here you calculate this so let us calculate so 36.87 so times with um, 3.142 over 180 so calculate this you should get 0 0.643586 so we're going to take up to four decimal places so it will be 0 0.6436 radian 0 0.6436 radian so this is your answer for the question part a so let me underline the solution for the question part a Okay, just wait. Okay, so we are done with the question part A. So let us move on to the question part B. Okay, for the question part B, we are required to find the perimeter of the shaded region. Okay, to find the perimeter of shaded region, so let me scroll it up. So we will discuss. So what we need to find first in order to get the perimeter of the shaded region. Okay, step number one. For the students, okay, for question part A should not be a problem. The real problem actually comes in the question part B itself. So you don't know how to approach the question. Okay, try to solve them one by one. Okay, so try to get the perimeter of the shaded region. So how to get the perimeter? Of course, you need to find this length. Um, wait down, guys. Length of the arc uh, GH, length of the arc HE, and then the length ED. FG and then FE itself. Okay, the summation of all the lengths will lead you to the perimeter of the shaded region. Okay, so we need to find them one by one. Unfortunately, guys, okay, length of ED we have already find. Okay, based on the working of the question part A, we can literally apply that. So the only thing that we need to find is uh, length of arc GH, length of arc uh, HE. Okay, that will be some extra working that we need to do that we will discuss now. Okay, so from here, so our step number one is to find the uh, length of arc GH and length of arc HE. But before that, we need to know the length of BD itself because remember, guys, okay, in the question they mentioned that. AHD is an arc of a circle with center B. So B is technically your center. Okay, and this hypotenuse is actually representing your radius. Okay, so we need to find the radius for this arc, uh, length of the arc AHD. Okay, AHD. Okay, let me just draw a dotted line. Okay. Wait on guys. So bad in sketching. Okay. So uh, A H D is literally forming a arc and this B D is actually your radius. So your first step before starting to find the arc G H H E. So you need to find the radius B D first. So how are you going to find the radius B D? Length of DC we already know is 6, length of BC we already know is 8, so we can find them using the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. 
So from here, step number one. Okay, find length of BD. Okay, so from here, BD square is equal to BC square plus DC square. And then you square root them. Okay. Okay. BC is the base. DC is the vertical length. Okay. And BD is the hypotenuse. Okay. So from here, BD square is equal to 8 square plus with 6 square. So from here, 64 plus with 36. So from here, get is 100. So square root. Oh, so sorry, guys. So we're literally finding BD, not BD square. If BD square means the square root will be removed. Since you're finding BD, so you, you already put the square root here. So 8 square plus 6 square. If you sum them up, you get 100. So BD square is goes to 100. So BD is square root 100. So from here, BD will be equals to 10 centimeter. Okay. This is your step number one. You already find the length of BD, which is the radius of the arc AHD and also arc of the ABHD. They are the same radius. Okay. That's why it is important for us to find the radius. Okay. Once we know the radius, it will be easy for us to find the other <coughs> other lengths okay so from here first step clear ready second step but then now you have a problem <coughs> okay question <coughs> excuse me guys sector a b h g is a quadrant of a circle okay a b h g is a quadrant of a circle guys okay but then in the question they already <coughs> they only give the arc of the g h a b h g is not over here so from here how are we going to find only the length of the arc gh so there is a way <clears throat> the first way is we need to find the length of ah the angle of uh, hab okay and then minus with the angle of the quadrant okay then you'll get a particular angle and that angle you need to use to calculate the length of the arc gh because we already know the radius is 10 okay <coughs> excuse me guys <coughs> so sorry <coughs> okay <coughs> so from here so to so find your length of the arc gh <coughs> we already know that the radius is 10 <coughs> and the center b is actually 10 so technically we can form an equilateral triangle over here 10 10 and 10 <coughs> so equilateral triangle means technically that your angle is inside is 60 60 60 in degree of course but then if it's in the radian it will be pi over 3 pi over 3 pi over 3 radian sum them up you'll get this pi radian which in this case is 180 degree okay <coughs> so from here step number two Find has GH length of the arc GH. Okay, we already know that it is an equilateral triangle. Okay, which has the triangle HAB 10 centimeter each. <coughs> so since it is an equilateral triangle, so we know that the angle of HAB is equal to pi over 3 radian <coughs> okay guys we already know this angle and this angle is pi over 2 which is 90 degree so to get this particular small angle pi over 2 minus pi over 3 so you'll get this small angle over here <coughs> okay so from here the small angle which in this case angle gah 
is equals to pi over 2 minus pi over 3 okay you calculate this you should get your answer I mean your angle is equals to pi over 6 radian okay <clears throat> so technically this is your angle pi over 6 GAH okay the <coughs> angle GAH is pi over 6 we already know the radius and we already know the angle now we can find the length of the arc GH <coughs> excuse me guys <coughs> so from here length of the arc GH is equal to r theta so SGH is equal to 10 times in pi over 6 so in this case pi is 3.142 over 6 so from here you calculate you should get your length of the arc gh so let us calculate this together so 10 times with 3.142 divide with 6 convert to decimal okay you should get your answer is 5.2367 centimeter okay so we need to find one by one the length we already got the first length okay which in this case this length which one guys this particular sector gh okay now we need to find the i mean the arc gh now we need to find the length of the arc he or hd hd guys so sorry it's hd okay so that will be our second step <coughs> so step two find length of the arc hd okay so let us sketch the region over here okay in length of the arc hd so this is hd and you have letter b over here this is your angle theta and then you have radius 10 remember guys it's all respect to the center b so that's why you, everything it's having radius 10 <coughs> the radius is 10 centimeter <coughs> Okay, one thing I would like the attention here, over here, B is not the midpoint of AC, guys. Okay, B is just centered to the arc. Okay, <clears throat> so I hope you guys are clear about this. So, now we need to find the angle of uh, BHD. Okay, to find the angle of BHD, okay, it will be equals to pi minus pi over 3 minus 0 0.6436 radian okay how is that possible let me show you okay bhd so this is the bhd okay so pi is representing the internal angle of a semicircle pi over 3 we get over here because we literally form the equilateral triangle of ahb okay this angle theta over here we already obtained the question part A which is 0 0.6436 so you minus them you should get the the angle uh, BHE, BHD okay so we get the angle we get the radius and then we can find the arc HD simple as that <coughs> okay so from here you calculate angle BHD will be equals to let us do the calculation together so 3.142 minus 3.142 over 3 minus 0 0.6436 okay so you get your angle 
one one. Okay, we round off to four decimal place, so it will be one point four five one one radian. Okay, we get the angle. We know the radius. We can find the length of the arc HD. So length of the arc HD is equals to r theta. So length of the arc HD will be equals to ten times with the angle one point four five one one times them together. So from here get the length of the arc HD it will be equals to fourteen point five one one centimeter. Okay, so this is your second step. Okay. So we are halfway through our working. So you already find the length of arc HG or you want GH, whatever you want to call. We already find length of the arc HD also. Okay, this two arc we already find. Okay, this length we already know, which in this case is a uh, two centimeter. Okay, our next step will be finding the length of the arc. I mean, length of the straight line FG or GF. Okay, step three. Okay, find the length. Okay, GF. So, from here, length of GF is actually equals to ten centimeter, guys. Okay, why is it ten? It still follows the radius length. Okay, the radius is ten. It's ten over here, and since G is acting as a midpoint, so length of GF also will be ten as well. Okay, it is understood. <coughs> Okay, so this is your step three. Okay, and your final step, step four. Okay, find the length of FE or EF. Okay, so from here to find the length of FE. Will be equals to <coughs> okay. This I need to erase them. Okay, let me sketch a straight line over here. Okay. <coughs> so we know that the length of CE is eight. Total length of FA is twenty. So to find the length of this base of triangle will be twenty minus eight, which in this case will be twelve. Okay. And we also know that the radius BD is ten. However, the base BC is eight. BA is 10 because in the early discussion we actually formed the equilateral triangle right okay so i remind you again ah uh, b is not the midpoint it's just a center for the uh, sector abhg and ahd okay that's all so from here 10 plus 8 will be 18 so 18 will be the height of the triangle 12 will be the base of the triangle so to find the length of FG will FE will be 18 square plus 12 square and then you square root it. Okay, so that's how you're going to get the length of FE. <coughs> so FE will be equals to 18 square plus width 12 square square root it. So sorry if my handwriting is so bad. So FE is equals to Eighteen square plus sixteen square square root answer. So you get 
um, well, 18 square plus 12 square. Twenty one point six three three. Okay, sorry guys, that's now was a wrong calculation. Twenty one point six three three centimeter. <coughs> okay, now we have already find all the external length. So let us calculate the perimeter together. So perimeter calculation will be uh, Fe or EF whatever you want to call and then plus with ED okay plus with length of the arc HD HD is this one and the length of the arc uh, HG plus with length of the arc FG so plus them all you get the perimeter of the shaded region <coughs> so perimeter so is equals to FE plus with ED, length of the arc HD, length of the arc GH, plus with FG. Okay, double check, FE, ED, HD, GH, FG, okay, correct. Okay. <coughs> okay, include all the values that you have calculated. 21.633 plus with 2 plus with 14.511 plus 5.2367 plus with 10. Okay, calculate them all. 21.633 plus with 2 plus with 14.511 plus with 5.2367 plus with 10. So you calculate, you should get your answer is 53.3807 centimeter. So which in this case, 53.38 centimeter. Okay, approximate 53.38 centimeter. So this is your final answer. <coughs> Okay, so that is all for the discussion for the question number 6, the circuit which is involving the circular measure chapter. So I hope you have understand the explanation that I have uh, given to you in this video. So if you find that this video is beneficial to you, so please make sure that you give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming uh, AdMats tutorial videos in the future and make sure that you share this video to your friends. Thank you everyone for your support and I will see you in the next video.